Okay, in this video I want to show you a couple of quick tips and techniques for modifying dimensions in a sketch. Here I have a fully defined sketch with several dimensions, and if I double click on any dimension, I get the familiar modify dialog. And just about every SOLIDWORKS user is familiar with this dialog because this is where we go in to enter new values for uh, any dimension input that we want. And of course we can see that there are spin boxes over here that allow me to change these values. Now what you may not know is the, the increment value, which looks like about 10 millimeters in this case, the increment on that spin box is actually governed by our tools options settings. So if I go to tools options, under system options, and then down to spin box increments, we can see where that 10 millimeter spin box increment is specified. So that can be changed, but keep in mind that is a system option, so it applies to all documents. What you may not have known though, is that not only can I use the spin box to increment in the 10 millimeter increments, but if I hold down the control key, the spin box now functions at a 10x, or 10 times the increment, so 100 millimeters instead of 10. Likewise, if I hold down the alt key, the spin box increment becomes one-tenth, or 0.1 of the increment. So here it's increasing in or decreasing in values of just one millimeter. So that's a nifty little trick that you can use with your spin boxes to change the scaling of the spin box increment, either by a factor of 10 or one-tenth. Now we can also do some nifty things with dimension modifications, such as entering functional equations or functional relationships. So for example, instead of just keying in a value of 40, if I needed to have some kind of mathematical relationship, like 40 plus 20 divided by 3, I can enter the, the uh, functional relationship and the math is automatically calculated for me. What's also useful here is that I can mix unit systems. So even though this part is modeled in millimeters, if I happen to know that I need a 2.125 inch value for that dimension, I can just key in the unit, IN, and SOLIDWORKS will calculate and do the, the uh, math conversion for me and show me what the exact value of that would be in the document units. We can do a couple of other interesting things with uh, dimension modifications in this modify dialog, and that is to create equations. This is done by dropping down the arrow in the modify dialog and choosing add equation. Here I'm going to add an equation that will make the 50 millimeter dimension a driven value that will be some function of another dimension. So for example, I can make it a, a function of this dimension value here with a, some mathematical function, let's say times 1.2. We've now established a functional relationship so that when the 53 dimension changes, this dimension changes according to the equation. And you can tell that this is driven by an equation by the red sigma symbol next to that dimension. And that's important to recognize because no longer is this 60 millimeter dimension editable. It is a driven dimension as a function of the equation. So we change this value to change the 60. Another way that we can create functional relationships, uh, especially with just simple equivalencies, is by what is called link values. Link values is found by double-clicking a dimension. From the modify drop-down list, we choose link value. And with link values, we just assign a variable name that we want to link this dimension to. And this can be any kind of descriptive name that you want to assign. Here I'll just use the variable B. Now my 22 millimeter dimension is linked to a variable B, but what's great is I can link any other dimension that I want to that same variable. Now both dimensions, as indicated by the little chain link symbol, both dimensions keep the same value. But unlike an equation, when I use link values, I can change either value and they both update. There's no dependent independent relationship unlike an equation. So link values become a very functional, quick uh, way to, to establish equivalencies in my sketch dimensions. So what we've seen here are several different ways that we can improve our speed and efficiency in working with sketch dimensions by using the spin box increments, by using the equations, functional logic units, and the link values command.